Okay, so iOS 18.1 and developer beta 2 has now been out for a couple of days, as well as iOS 18.0, developer beta 6, both updates, both betas were released just a few days ago on Monday, August the 12th. So it's been about three to four days since the filming of this video, Apple released these two betas. And as per usual, I always like to come back and share with you guys any additional new features and changes that I may come across after using the beta for a couple of days. But in this video, I also want to talk about some major new changes coming to the iPhone with iOS 18.1 that honestly I thought Apple would never do. So let's go ahead and start with some of the latest changes or additional changes that I've noticed within the betas. If you want to watch my initial coverage for these betas, links will be available down below. But let's take a look at two new splash screens. One is available for the Translate application. So take a look at that. The Translate application obviously getting additional new features within iOS 18. You see Apple here explaining some of the changes happening within the Translate application. As you can see right here now the podcast application also got a new splash screen once again apple giving us a quick description of some of the changes coming to the podcast application with ios 18 as well now something else that i've noticed is new is that your wallpapers and your icon settings now your iphone can remember those options so for example if you go to customize your device and you're using dark mode icons right but on a different setup for example this one right here let's say you used the tinted icons well your iphone will now remember those settings and you'll get your tinted icons for that particular setup and your standard icons for whichever other setup that you have on your device so something minor but something that i've noticed has been tweaked here within the latest 18.1 beta 2 and ios 18 beta at six as well now something else that i've noticed is that we now have a bilingual keyboard so if you speak more than one language this is a welcome change so i speak two languages english and spanish and sometimes i start typing away in spanish and and the conversation typing in english well my keyboard will now remember and auto suggest and auto correct in both languages it can determine and understand which language that i'm using so a welcome change for bilinguals you now have a bilingual keyboard and when you go into your keyboard here in the space bar you see there you get the abbreviation for english slash spanish so that you know you're using that bilingual keyboard on your device so welcome change at least for me since i do type in two different languages and last but not least i want to talk about some major changes coming to the iphone with ios 18.1 so here this apple is now made it official they will be opening up the nfc chip on the iphone so what does this mean well starting with ios 18.1 Developers will be able to offer NFC contactless transactions using the secure element within their own applications on iPhone. So for example, if you like to use a specific application here for me in Florida, I go to the Disney parks a lot. Let's say Disney will now be able, for example, to build in their own payment system so that you can use Apple Pay and their Apple NFC chip within the Disney application. For example, you no longer have to go directly through the wallet application to use their services. And again, this is just an example. There's many other options. Obviously you have, you know, restaurants that can use this. You have small businesses that can use this and developers will now be able to take advantage of the NFC chip to create contactless transactions using the secure element within their own apps for iPhone. This is major news. These are going to be changes happening with iOS 18.1. Apple has just made this announcement. Keep in mind that iOS 18.1 will not become available to the general public, perhaps until mid to late October. So we still have some time to go. Developers obviously will update their applications to take advantage of this. Those that do require any sort of payment can now take advantage of the NSC chip built into the device and create their own, basically their own payment system. And there you guys have it. Finally, a lot of changes that we've been waiting on are finally happening, coming to the iPhone with iOS 18.1. Let me know what you think about these changes. Thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.